Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. So today's video is a hacks video on how to use the flora. I do use the flora quite a lot when I'm cleaning and I thought I would just share the different tips and tricks that I use the flora for. If you enjoy this video, please give it a big thumbs up and don't forget to hit that subscribe button if you're not already subscribed and I hope you enjoy. Thanks for watching. Okay, so tip number one is probably the most obvious that probably quite a lot of you do already, but I just grab a Zaflora and I grab a empty bottle here, you can get these really cheap on eBay or in Poundland or something, and I just mix two capfuls of Zaflora with some water, give it a shake, and then you can wipe all of your surfaces in your kitchen, in your living room, in your bedroom. So my second tip to use as a flora is to spray it on your curtains and it just leaves it smelling fresh. So again, I've just got my squeezy bottle and then just spray it on all of my curtains. And tip number three is I also use it to spray down my cushions on my sofa and also bedding, you can also just spray it on your bedding as well to make it a little bit fresh but I'm just going to show you me spraying it on the cushions today. It just soak into the cushion there and then it just leaves it smelling really nice and fresh. Tip number four is if you have some artificial flowers you can also spray those with the flora. For example you can use the rose flavour or you can use the bouquet flavour and obviously it makes the flowers smell of that particular scent which is really really good if you have lots of um, fake flowers in your living room or kitchen or whatever. My next tip is if you have a room diffuser and it's actually ran out, you can pop some Zaflora in the bottom and then it's a room diffuser again and it just leaves the scent of the Zaflora around the whole room and then as soon as you walk into that room it just smells absolutely gorgeous. is regarding your bin. I don't like the smell of bins, I think they absolutely stink and what you can do is you can take your bag out and then when the bin is empty if you just pop some um, Zaflora in the bottom with some boiled water just leave it for an hour or so just let it soak up all of the you know bits and pieces that have come out of the bag and then just empty it, give it a quick rinse and then if you get a cotton wool pad, which I haven't got at the moment, that's why I'm not showing you, you can actually put some Zaflora straight onto the cotton pad, stick it in the bottom of your bin and then put your bag back in and then it just leaves it smelling really fresh and you don't really get the manky bin smell. And next up you can get some Zaflora again on a cotton pad or some kitchen roll or something like that and just put some Zaflora, not diluted, just tip it straight onto the um, kitchen roll or whatever, stick it behind your radiator and then when the radiator comes on you just get this lovely scent of whatever flavour you're using. You can also get a microfiber cloth and just wipe the radiator down with the flora so then again when it comes on you just get a good scent of the flora. My next Zaflora cleaning hack is you can use it in your toilet. If you just take the um, lid off the cistern at the back and then just pour some Zaflora in, every time you flush the chain 
then you get this lovely scent of the flora and it yeah really good And voila, that is a really good tip there for a nice smelling toilet. My next tip is when you've used microfiber cloths or your sponges or whatever, rather than throwing them away, what you can do is you can actually get a bowl full of boiling hot water and pour some of flour in it. Put your microfiber cloths in there, sponges, things like that. Leave them overnight and it also gives a good smell around your kitchen overnight but it also antibacterial cleans your actual microfiber cloths and sponges so then you can just reuse them again which is a really good tip. I also pop the flora down all of my plug holes because that makes that smell nice as well. I also fill up my sinks with the flora, just pour a little bit in, leave it, it makes your room smell really nice. I probably do that in the bathrooms and the kitchens pretty much every day. So when you walk into that room you've just got a really really nice smell. And the last tip that I'm going to give you is of course popping some of the flora into your mop. and. Yeah, I do dilute it because I know some mops can break if you use the flora in them. So I don't really use that much the flora in my mop just in case it breaks. But it still is enough to make the room smell really nice. So I'll just show you me doing that now. When the lights are out and you stumble in the dark like a ton more things you can do with the flora but they are my main tips so I hope you do get some inspiration from my video please give this video a big thumbs up and please hit that subscribe button if you haven't already I'm so close to 1000 now and it's just I'm just itching to get there so it'd mean the world to me if you would hit that subscribe button I do do a lot of speed cleaning videos decluttering videos things like that on my channel so if you like that sort of video please stick around and I'll see you in my next one bye bye